How to create a taxi booking website on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a website that concerns the reservation and booking taxis online. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com, sign up within an account and the platform. You need that mandatory right there. So after you have signed up, you're going to get this platform. If it is the first time that you're going to visit the platform of Wix and you're going to get this page if you are already a member of the platform and you have already created some websites. So let's say that we have here the creation from scratch. We're going to create the website here. It will give you two options. Either it is going to be Wix Studio or the normal Wix editor. We are going to create on Wix editor right there. So we are going to see here the AI message. If you want to get some help or assisted creation with the AI of Wix, uh, here you can go ahead and click on start chat and set up the or respond to the questions that the automated chat is going to let you or ask you. So they will prepare for you a specific dashboard for you. I am going to set it up without the chat. So obviously right there, we're going to set up the type of the website that we want to create. So here, basically it is going to be a taxi booking website. We are going to type in taxi. So we are going to see here the suggestions that we have. We have taxi service, chauffeur service, right there, uh, a private driver and etc. So we are maybe to uh, going to add uh, this one. So here we have taxi service or we are going to see if we have some taxi booking. Let's see here. Unfortunately, we do not have the booking. So I'm going to set it up as taxi service. Click on continue. And here it is going to be preparing your dashboard. This dashboard is going to be the control panel of your website. This is an uh, here a independent uh, specific dashboard that is going to contain all the information about that specific website and not the others. So here we have the business details, for example, Jack store rentals, taxi, taxi, for example, booking, we are going to type in booking, booking like that. So you can go ahead and add an address if you have one. In my case, it is um, fully online. So we are going to set up here the dates, for example, from uh, seven or six and a half to uh, right there, uh, uh, 11 and a half in the uh, evening. So you can go also and set up the time zone right there. We have the services that we are going to provide, for example, it is going to be here recommended for the theme that you have uh, or the service that you have searched for or the type for example private car pickup yes uh here uh, airport transportation yes uh interstate journey taxi service data rate on way ride for example like that round trip service city tour you can all uh, here create your own service name it set up the appointment of it or the service type, for example, the payment type, the location, when you finish, you're going to click on save. So then we are going to click on continue. Here we have the staff, for example, you can add the chauffeur uh, names. For example, here we have Jack. The email is Jack at taxi, for example, driver the, for example, com like that. Bye so you can go ahead and add some staff members for example like that i'm going to copy paste it there copy paste there for example like that so we are going to add here james here smith and here we are going to set up danielle Danielle, we're going to set up the names in here did something wrong but well, here we have it you're going to click on continue for example you're going to accept the payment online 
in-person payment yes uh, manage your service and go for example for the mobile app yes send automated emails and sms reminders yes we need that for the cell digital physical products we do not need that so here we have added the useful tools i'm going to continue to our dashboard everything is set up for the dashboard right now normally we are going to set up here or see the booking calendar that it is going to be installed so you are going to get here a calendar and that calendar will help you manage all your services you can see here the booking list the work schedule and etc so this is the good feature for example for setting up a booking calendar now let's go ahead to the setup again and click on design site and here it will give you the uh, option to select or create your website right there so you can go ahead and customize a template or generate an ai des designed uh, template so you can go ahead and click on pick up a template first before you head into the generated ai so you are going to see here the different uh, templates that are available see if they will suit you for example if this one will suit you this or whatever you have here so you can see here we have some recommended or best match for you these two i uh, here we have a taxi company but it is a little bit standard for me so maybe you are going to add this one or we can go ahead and select whatever now let's say that i don't like these type of templates so we are going to select the generate a design I'm going to click on it so as you can see it will automatically set up a site brief uh, here based on your site profile this or the name of the website your taxi service will have a site structure which includes one page all the generation of the websites will only get one page right there so you are going to add as many pages as you want so this is the creation of the website that we have uh, we have here three um, separated images you can see that some of them has been uh, got from the uh, library of Wix some of them will be maybe uh, AI generated you can see that here we have the service compartment here we have the about compartment right there testimonials and uh, the taxi booking right there um title and the as you can here see here the footer in case you do not like that design you can go ahead and regenerate the design or tweak the design for example if you like the design and you want something that is going to be here tweaked you can go ahead and tweak the design by clicking on tweak or you can set up uh, the regeneration of the design so let's wait here to see the version 2 as you can see uh, here it has changed the first image or the first banner we have more images as you can see we have the book now we have the services has been tweaked since they were a list now we have uh, the services on a box and i think this is more um, reliable or more attractive than uh, the first one it also added the subscription to our email or to our newsletters so maybe you are going to continue with this design click on here you can go ahead and get your specific domain from here or continue uh, directly to the editor without getting a domain you are going to get basically a subdomain from wix so it doesn't matter a lot if you have a domain or not you're going to get a free subdomain from wix that is going to be here active and published on the web so it is going to add the elements or the necessary elements for your websites like the wix booking the reservation and etc it is setting up our apps uh, to the website here it, it, we have a presentation to the elements that we can using to the website editor we have the elements the possibility to add elements sections manage the pages and menus we can set up the site design or modify it customize it we can add some uh, apps and media and etc so this is basically our website 
uh, we have the first page which is going to be here the menu here we have the page so or the first page which is the menu it is set as horizontal so we're going to edit the menu so do we i'm not going to do that but here i'm going to set up the uh i'm going to turn that menu like that because i see it as a vertical one as ugly so we are going to set it here like that you can go ahead and modify whatever element that you want from here i'm going to add the menu here or we can go ahead and switch up the vector art here we have a generated vector art and also some as you can see here the title here we have the images the header is set everything is in order now for the services if you want to access to your services you can go ahead and select one of the services right there click on manage services and you're going to get the mini version of the dashboard right there set up your service add a new service set up the tarification of the service for example right there I'm going to open up this. Here we have a the overview. We have the price. You can set up here the uh, the amount right there, and also the rating of the hours. For example, here we have the duration of let's say here five. I don't know if we can go ahead and set up a duration. So the minimum duration is going to be fifteen minutes. The maximum is going to be here to for custom so we can go ahead and set up here a zero hour and let's say 10 minutes so you can go ahead and add a buffer time you can set up the tagline and also some service details like a description tagline the service name the type of the service for example a course a class an appointment so generally on taxis we are going to set it as appointments so we're going to get the availability for the chauffeurs and also the vehicles here we have the price the payment preferences you're going to set up the entire amount pay in person and etc uh, the location for example the client place of course you can add a video conferencing right there with the chauffeur for example and you can go ahead and assign the staff for example i'm going to assign whatever stuff that we have here and for the resources you can manage the resources images you can add the image of the car for example the chauffeur and etc for the booking preferences you can go ahead and set those and click on save right there it will save the uh, as you can see the services preferences and etc so and here we have set up the taxi booking uh, website as you can see with just some few steps and here we have it i forgot to mention that you need to not forget about setting up the payment methods into your wix dashboard so you are going to head over the wix dashboard set up your payment method into the dashboard for example here i'm going to select the website dashboard of hours then we are going to select the settings from here we are going to click on accept payments and add the payment methods so that was all for today's video uh, thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one